Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna be doing a bikini try-on haul with one of my favorite bikini brands in the entire world. Like hands down, my favorite bikini line. And it is by a company called 437 Swimwear. A little background on this bikini company. It is actually owned by two girls in their 20s, Hyla and Adrienne. 437 is actually named after the house that they used to live in in Toronto and they started this business together after graduating college and have since become obviously incredibly successful and I think this company's only been around for two years. I could be wrong. They're gonna text me if I'm right or wrong. But Hyla and Adrian are absolutely incredible. What they have been able to build is just insane. So I wanted to take some time today. So I wanna take some time today to go over some of their bikinis. I have probably 15 bikinis from them and the collection just keeps on growing because they keep coming out with greater and greater designs. Today we're gonna go over some of my favorite pieces and also just ones that I like because of the maximum or minimum minimum coverage that they offer. So, so I'm showing you guys six different bikinis and then a cover up at the very end and I will have links to everything down below. This video is not sponsored. I don't have any affiliate links with them or anything. However, I will say they did take me, Elizabeth, Ashley, Mariana, and Nikki on an amazing trip to the Caribbean and it was one of the most memorable trips that I've ever been on. I guess I'm just having serious FOMO even though none of us are there anymore. I just miss it. So I figured we'd do bikini haul and I feel like this is my first time ever doing like a dedicated bikini haul. I never do these. So enjoy. <laughs> first bikini is the Aubrey top with the Kenzie bottom. So everything that you buy, you buy based off the top or bottom. You don't buy them as a set. The bikinis are on the more expensive side but the quality of these bikinis are absolutely insane. I have worn so many different bikini lines, so many different bikini brands. I've had them sent to me, I've bought them, and these are by far the softest bikinis I've ever felt. When they first sent me a package, I gasped because I couldn't believe how soft they were. It, it's not a material that can be explained. You have to actually feel it and experience it for yourself to understand why these are so amazing. So not only is the material super soft on these, but it's also very forgiving. These girls, when they created the bikini line, they really wanted it to be about not feeling like you have to be skinny for the summer. You should feel good wearing a curve-hugging bikini and still be able to enjoy your margaritas, still be able to enjoy your burritos and your hamburgers, and they truly accomplished that. Actually, when they first sent me a package, they included some little Sugarfina gummies, and it was like, enjoy your candy and still wear bikinis. And I was like, ah! Oh. That is the right message to send. We are about that. Everything that they have created is high rise, which <laughs> for us shorties, we love that. And even for the tall girls, like people who do have curves and don't have curves, we all love high rise and we all love curve hugging products. It just makes you feel good. So the Aubrey top is, it's like your basic, you know, strapless bikini top. I don't know how to really describe this, but I do really like it on me. Typically, I feel that these compress my chest and make it look really small. But I think because of the material and because of the lack of padding and then these two uh, little lines that they have in the front it's just overall very flattering for your bust when I was with Hyla and she was like setting us up for the pictures she uh, took this and then just like barely folded the ridge of the top and I don't know why but that made such a huge difference in the way that this bikini fits I don't know why from this to this and now this is the only way that I wear them I'm telling you that little flip it does something I think it just adds texture and dimension to the suit I don't know doesn't feel like it's gonna slip off of you stays gripped on the boobies and it's not see-through so we love that the bottoms are the Kenzie bottoms and these are probably my favorite bottoms out of all of the 437 bottoms that they have created for myself I just think that they are the most flattering I do have wider hips and I have a smaller waist and I have a pretty big butt. It's not like huge, but it's definitely, it's there. It exists and it's there. So I like these because they are definitely less coverage than some of their other bottoms, but I just feel like it's the perfect amount. Like I would not be ashamed to wear this to an LA beach or anywhere because one, thankfully these types of bikinis have just become a lot more common and a lot more accepted. Whereas before it was like, whoa, what are you wearing? It's super high rise. So it, you feel like you're getting more coverage than you're actually getting because it does spread once it's on your skin and it kind of covers up your tummy, covers up any like love handles and stuff that you might not want to show, but without squeezing everything. It just perfectly sits on your skin. And that's, I am never able to understand that with these bikinis is that it's never squeezing you. I don't know how they did it because you look at this and it looks it looks tiny But then it's it goes onto your body and it just is like oh, this is where I belong and it just hovers on your skin It's brilliant. 
so cute, so soft, and the yellow is obviously gorgeous. The next, this is the Aubrey top and the Aubrey bottoms. I mainly wanted to show you guys so that you could see what a more full coverage option would look like. This is what the true set was designed to look like together. So, but obviously, with 437, like you are meant to mix and match whatever you want. But these are definitely more of a full coverage in the back, which I know a lot of people will appreciate, but it perfectly covers a good amount of your bum and then sort of cinches down into your into your, into your butt crack. <laughs> I believe this is in the rose color and I still really, really love this one. This is a lot more conservative and because again, it's you could see how long it is, you might worry that your waist isn't gonna fit in this, but this is meant to fall right into the smallest place of your waist and they've designed that effortlessly and perfectly. So not really gonna talk too much about the top again because it's the exact same thing as the last one, but it's perfect. I mean, th this is just, it's perfect. And I've owned this particular top now for over a year, I want to say, and it has not shown any signs of of wear and tear or anything. Moving on, I am not a huge one piece person. This was actually my first time wearing this one today because I wanted to show it to people who maybe are not comfortable to wear bikinis or um, are just interested in looking at a one piece. So this is their Harlow. And from the looks of it, it just looks like a very basic one piece. But the thing about 437 is that it's not actually about the design of the bikini, it's the way that it's cut. Because the cutting and the material is what makes this company so successful. They know how to take something basic and turn it into something that you feel like you cannot live without. It has a very Baywatch vibes feel to it when I put it on. I'm like, if this were red, I would actually feel like I need to run in slow motion on the beach. <laughs> but it's a nice low rise cut where it shows just enough cleavage where it's not over the top, whether you have small boobs or big boobs, I think you'll feel really, really cute in this. And then a really nice cut down the back. Pretty good coverage through the back as well. It's kind of like a mixture of the two first bottoms that I showed you guys. And a super, super high waist cut again. I mean, this fell like right at the top of my hips and I loved it. A lot of this stuff, you can actually kind of wear them as tops. You'll kind of see what I mean as I show you. There's like one in particular that I'm thinking of, one of their designs that is just so great for actually wearing out as well, but super comfortable. And although their bikinis aren't seamless, I will say they feel seamless in the sense that like nothing ever feels like it's digging into your skin, which I really appreciate. And this particular color is in the color candy. So cute. Next set I'm showing you guys is actually my favorite out of all the bikinis that I've ever worn from them. And I just got it when I was on my Turks and Caicos trip, but it is the Robin set. So it's the Robin top and the Robin bottoms in the color white. And I'm actually very upset. I don't know that you can see it in my try on portion of the clip, but I think that the ladies that come and clean, sometimes they'll just like do my laundry as a courtesy for me, which is so sweet. But sometimes they mix them with other colors. And I think they did that with this. And I'm so sad. There's kind of like a little dirt track marks on it, but I'm hoping that because it's white, I can just throw bleach on it. If I throw a little bit of bleach on it, it'll go away, but it is like all over the bikini where I was like, oh my God, should I even try it on? But I have to, because this is absolutely my favorite suit. It's only the top anyway, but it's nice because it is not maximum coverage, but it's not minimum coverage. It's just beachy as hell. I feel like it's something that I would have worn in like Santorini and I've never even been to Santorini. It gives me very Santorini vibes. In fact, they should have named the bikini Santorini. You've got this really cute bottom that high-waisted as always, pretty good coverage in the back, not the most. The coverage is a bit sparse towards the front, but I mean, it works for me. I don't mind it at all. I will say like with all their bikinis, especially as they become more and more minimal coverage, you start to feel like you might have a vagina slip and you don't have vagina slips in this. I went jet skiing in their most minimal coverage bikini and I did not have a single slip at all. Everything was, I don't know, it just doesn't move around. Once it's on your body, it doesn't move around. This one um, has kind of like this inch to, it's like two inches of a band in the front. It's not stiff or anything, it's just like the other material, but, but then it like carries on into really cute bow ties on the side and I just, freaking love it. It is just perfect. I feel so confident when I wear this. And then as for the top, this is what I meant by something that you can actually wear out. And I'm pretty sure I actually wore this to the Revolve Festival. So they carry on that same design with the two inch 
band at the bottom of the top. Again, that tapers out into a perfect little string so that you can create a little bow tie. And then it has little short, short sleeves on the side, which just adds to the design. Super flattering. And this is one of the tops that can be worn two different ways. You can either wear it in the front so that you have cleavage and a bow tie in the front, or you can make it a full coverage top and have more like of an open back and then tie a knot back there. It looks great either way. I only wear it with the front because I just love it that way, but absolutely hands down my favorite suit from 437. Okay, next set is going to be the Kenzie set. We're kind of getting less and less coverage as we're going. The Kenzies are by far the most thong style bikini. Definitely not a lot of coverage. Still high-waisted, still covers the tummy, but not as much as the other ones do. Those are a bit more forgiving. This one really, you gotta be feeling like, good when you put this bikini on and still absolutely a favorite of mine. I feel like I want to sit here and compare the bottoms over and over again, but there's really not much to say other than the difference in the coverage because the material is still badass and amazing. It's still going to be high-waisted. It's still going to hit in the perfect place of your of the small of your waist and all of that. So it's really just going to come down to a coverage thing for you, but I still absolutely freaking love these. I wear them all the time and I have this in like nine different colors. And then the top is so cute. So I've always worn it with a tie in the Front. But while I was in Turks, I was seeing the girls, Hyla and Adrian, tie one in the front and then tie a knot in the back. And it gave the suit a completely different look. Because the strings are so long, it really gives you a lot of flexibility to really mess around with the bikini top and wear it and style it how you'd want to. I saw also girls wearing it backwards, that you just get it, you know, like a flat one piece in the front and then tying it in the back and looping it around and giving it a knot. There's just so many different ways that you could style this and it'll look good every single way and it won't ever feel like it's too tight on you or anything. They give you so much string to play with that you really can manipulate the top however you want. I have worn it in the front with it tied and then also in the front with it tied and then looped in the back, which you guys saw in the video clips and uh, absolutely obsessed. So this is pretty exciting. This suit is the Sanders suit and this is, I believe they've already had this cut, but they have their first ever print of leopard. <gasps> It is so good. This was the suit that I wore at the beginning. Like I would take all my pictures in 437 and then I would always change into this at the beginning to get my tan because you're gonna get minimal tan lines with this. As you can see, very little coverage. You are wearing this because you are trying to bake out in the sun and not have tan lines. So for me, when I tan, I don't like to have a variation of like six different bikini tans on my body. I will take my pictures in a bunch of swimsuits and I will definitely like go out and do things in them. But when it comes to laying out in the sun, I have two suits now that are my go-to for that. This one was definitely a go-to and I would feel most comfortable wearing this publicly uh, for going out and tanning because again, very minimal coverage. Nice little like shoestring laces on the side to tie on the side. Same exact front coverage as there is back coverage. You could see it's essentially the same thing. And this suit is reversible, which is really cool. If you just cut off the tag, they actually made it specifically so that you can rip it off and you wouldn't ever know that there was a tag there to begin with. And you just get little subtle hints of cheetah, which I think is also really cute. They did the same thing with the top. I typically don't like triangle cut tops on me because I feel I feel like, again, they make my boobs look really small and I, especially when they would have padding and stuff, just I remember always being like, oh my God, I hate these bikinis on me. Because the material is so soft, you can kind of scrunch it to your liking. So if you want it to be extra tiny or if you want to get it as you know wide and full coverage, triangular as you want, then you can. And um, so I don't know when the leopard is gonna become available. I know that they're having a pop-up in New York tomorrow where they're gonna have like limited stock for people to buy it. But as far as launching online, I don't know. I know it's coming soon, but it's not there yet. I highly recommend it. It is so cute and just fabulous in every which way. As for the most micro bikini I have ever worn in my entire life, and this is the one that I went jet skiing in like a psychopath, this particular set is the Jordan set. And I... <laughs> actually fell in love with it. This is a suit, I will be honest and say that I would never wear this around my family. I would actually never even wear this publicly unless I was in the Caribbeans because this suit is minimal AF. The bottoms definitely have more front coverage than they do back. 
I didn't actually even show you guys when I was recording me ch trying it on because in the back it just actually straight up looks like a thong. Like it just cinches into like the tiniest little thing. And I have no problem with that, especially when I'm tanning. I have some of the best tan lines ever because after the cheetah one, they gave us these like two days into the trip and I started wearing this nonstop and I just have like the tiniest slits of tan lines and I love it so much. This is in the black. What's really cool is that it actually does have um, a scrunchiness to it so that when you put it on, it's not gonna do it now, but you can kind of see like in the front, you can move it in. You know what I mean? Like you can move it in or you can move it out. Kind of like the triangular tops on, on a basic bikini. Went jet skiing in this, did not have any slips. Like absolutely zero slips. And everyone's like, don't jet ski in that. Not the girls, but people on Instagram. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna jet ski in that. And I did, and it was wonderful. And then the top, also super, super micro. Literally nothing but just strings, essentially. Uh, so what's cool, this one is also reversible. You can either wear it as an all black top or you can switch it. And Rep 437 in the front, they did their branding in a really cute way where it's not obnoxiously in your face. It just kind of looks like a little pattern and it's so cute. And then it has little gold accents and adjustable strings in the back. So again, this is a bikini that I would highly recommend if you are just looking to tan by yourself, like on your roof where no one can see you, or if you're in the Caribbean and you don't give a fuck <laughs> and you would tan in this and not have any problems. So cute, absolutely obsessed. Wore this every single day for the remaining of my trip and got the best tan ever. And then lastly, I wanted to touch on their cover-ups because they're so cute and it's really hard to find a really good cover-up that you would want to wear all the time. And this is the Carter set. So this is an all black. I also got this during the trip and I actually didn't wear it at all while I was there, but I'm definitely taking it with me because I have a really fun girls trip planned for July for my 25th birthday, which you guys will hear more about later, but I'm so excited. It's going to be with a couple really great girls that you guys also might know about. It's Got these super long drawstrings, again, for you to kind of play around with the design. And then the sleeves are kind of like, I always call these like butterfly wings because they're just so long and drapey. Super sexy. And the black mesh is super soft as well, not itchy at all. And then the bottoms are really cute because they're like, it's like a skirt, it's like a long rectangle. And then you just tie it on the side and you get like this cute little jungle vibe to it. Total Caribbean style, just absolutely obsessed and looks so good. That's all I can really say about this. I haven't worn it enough to give more input, but super soft, cute drawstrings. You can mess around with it and do so many different things with it, and I love it. So guys, that's gonna be it for this 437 swimwear haul. This is hands down my favorite bikini line. I highly recommend if you're looking to invest in some bikinis, this is the way to go. They will not let you down, and that's it. If you guys wanna see more bikini hauls from me in the future, make sure to throw this video a thumbs up, and also let me know some of your guys' favorite bikini brands. I'm always open to finding other ones that I could enjoy, but now I feel like I have a very high standard. <laughs> I'm very picky these days, but let me know some of your favorites and that'll be it. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.